So here I have a recording of a um, TED video which has a typically long um, opening sequence to it which I want to cut. So I um, start recording the um, video and then I'm going to snag it. Um, whoops, it stopped recording. There we go. Has this TED beginning to it, which I'm going to record the whole um, video to start with. Um, it doesn't matter if I've missed the start because I, I'm going to cut it anyway. So I don't want all of this um, beginning introduction for my students. It's a six minute clip, which is a bit long for me. Um, so you can see Snagit's recording it here. I clicked record video on the tab. And I just let it record. Looking for whereabouts I want to start the cut. Okay, this is more about the topic. So probably around there, around 0.40, I want to start my video. And I let the video run to the end or until I want it to stop. So then I um, stop the video when I, and then I'll go to the Snagit um, editor and I'm into the Snagit editor. It will automatically go there and you can see the arrow at the beginning. You can cut however much you want from the start by just pulling along that red bar and I get to, I'll start at 40, about there and I click cut and that will just cut that from the beginning of the video. Now I want to, um, I don't want to capture, I want to actually save this file up there, save as, I want to save it as a, um, I'll name this and I'll just go into my video files on my computer, Nazi numbers, video and save that, save as an mp4. Now I want to put this into a PowerPoint for my students um, so we'll just let Snagit save it. I can click it about the PowerPoint. This is where I wanted to just have a video. Click on video in my PowerPoint and insert from file. Find uh, under videos, there's the Fibonacci numbers video. Insert and it goes straight into my PowerPoint. So I just check if I play that. Now I don't get all the beginning of the TED, but I can just start on Fibonacci numbers. And that's how we do that.